Hey guys, it's Project One here with a quick sponsored message. Geek Arch is a YouTuber who does everything from speed arts, unboxings, and designs. So why don't you know? Why, rather than me telling, why don't I just hand you over to Speed Arch, from, uh, Geek Arch himself, so he can elaborate on what he does. Hello, my name is Arthur, and I'm a graphic designer. I make creative stuff and upload videos like speed arts, animations, tech videos, and more. Basically, whatever I want. I hope the future of my channel is going to be bright as the sun or, or light bulb. He makes videos every week, so you go check. You should definitely go check him out. You can either click here, here, or here, or even check the description below. Let's go check out his channel. That's all from me, guys. Let's roll the clip. Hey guys, it's Project All One here with another episode of Modern Minecraft Forge, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom tool set. Okay, with your own custom tool, um, custom tool material as well. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So, we'll make the um, tool material last, but f and we'll get the um, actual uh, the items made first. Okay. So what you really want to do is you want to go into your item class and start typing um, some of the item things. So I'm going to go public, static, item, tut, pickaxe. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste that four times. So There's five tools on the set. We've got our pickaxe, we've got our axe, we've got our sword, we've got our hoe, hoe, and we've also got our spade. Like so, okay? So, what we're going to do is our tut pickaxe is going to be set equal to new tut pickaxe. Okay. What this is going to do, this is going to take one parameter, okay? So the, the parameter inside of here is going to be the actual tool material. So we'll start off with the vanilla tool, and then we'll move on to something more advanced, like a custom tool material which you've created yourself, and customised to your needs. Okay, so I'm going to type tool material dot, and then we'll make it equal to stone, because why not? Okay? After that we're going to go dot, Set localized localized name tot pick and then dot set creative tab creative tabs dot tab tools and then the last one dot set text your name. That's if you have a texture that is, because you might not have a texture, but I've created a texture already. Um, so my texture name is gonna be strings dot modded id plus colon tut pick. Is it tut pick? Pickaxe is. X. Okay, so I've already made the, the text for my stuff, just so you know, okay? So, after we've done that, we're going to copy this line, and obviously we're going to paste this four times, because it's five tools on the set, I keep saying. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to keep all of these to the um, set to be equal to stone, and then all we need to do is we just need to change, change a few things in here, which are the names. We've got to get tut pickaxe, tut axe, tut sword, and tut hoe, and tut spade. Okay, easy as that. So now we need to change these, so let's tut pick. This is going to be. That's pickaxe. Change that to pickaxe, did I? Yes, I did. Well, strongly, strongly did. Okay, so it's going to be tut axe. And change this to axe. This is going to be a sword, so we need to change this to a sword. And the end one to a sword. Oh, 
how this one's actually gonna be changed to how one thing Minecraft teaches you about um, real life is that you should never ever waste your diamonds on a hoe. Save, okay, and last one's going to be spade. So it's a spade. And then it's spade again. Okay. So, um, now we've actually got, now we're going to register the items. So I'm just going to copy this game registry thing here. Because it's the same for every single one. Three, four, five. And then we're just going to replace all of these things in here with the names of the items. Simple as that. So this is how you speed run um, making items. <laughs> it's if, it, if I wasn't trying to explain everything I was doing, I'd probably like um, be able to do it a little bit faster. But I'm quite slow when it comes to working. Okay. So that's ev pretty much everything we have to do with this class because we've already got our item class set up, so it's all registered to the main registry, and we've got all the items registered. Um, now. We're gonna actually create classes. So I'm gonna hit hover over the, the error here where we have topic acts. I'm gonna hit create class, hit finish. I'm gonna type this. I'm gonna type inside of this new class we've just created, inside of our item, inside of our uh, item package. I'm gonna write extends item. And then what of the items? So this is pickaxe, so it's gonna be item pickaxe. Hit control shift to import it. Hover over the uh, name of the class and hit add constructor. What this does, this just tells any, anything that what, every time this class is called upon, it wants to, um, it wants, um, every time, like when you call upon a class, you write, I don't know, block. Like that, okay. And inside those brackets, it always asks us parameters, like, like here, like this is asking for parameters here. So this is asking for tool material parameters. So it could be any material, so it could be stone material, it could be our custom material. But as long as we've got some sort of uh, tool material in there, which either is a child or is actually in the tool material class um, then it won't error. Okay, now we need to do the same for the rest of the classes. So hover over to axe. Finish. Extends item axe. Import it, add the constructor. And then just rinse and repeat this process. Sword. Um, there's one thing I want to change in sword because Rather than being in the tools tab, it should be in uh, combat. Okay. Because this, where the other swords are. Hit create class, hit finish. Extend. Item sword. Hit add constructor. And uh, last two, which so is the hoe. Finish. Extends item ho. Okay, we're right back, guys. And I'm back. Okay. So what were we? Oh yeah, we're extending the class of item ho. Okay. So let's import item ho. Let's add the constructor. Save it. And then create the class of spade. Finish. Extends. Item spade, import it, and then add the constructor. Okay, and that's it. Over for running the names, so let's go add the names inside of our assets en underscore us class. So we're going to go item dot tut pickaxe dot name is equal to tutorial pickaxe. Item dot tut axe dot name is going to be equal to tutorial while axe item dot tut ho is going to uh, dot name is going to be equal to tutorial ho item dot tut uh, spade dot name is going to be equal to tutorial spade 
Unless I want to release item. Dot tut sword. Dot name is going to be equal to tutorial sword. I'm just going to ignore this for quick fix. No, no, that bit there. Quick fix. Ignore. Okay. So, that's it, guys. So, let's actually run the game. It should take moments to launch, hopefully, so he says. Okay, so we're here now. And you see, because we're actually messing around with this before, I'll just ignore all these items. That's, we actually have all our items in our inventory. And I'll be right back, guys. So about the kids came into the room. Uh, but I also noticed actually um, a bit of an issue when actually, um, when I had, uh, when I launched the game. Place space here, so it still showed up as item.tutsaw.net. So I'm just going to run it now. And I'll be right back once I'm in game. Okay, I'm back, and uh, you're actually in game now, and we have that still broken. Oh, damn it! <laughs> yeah, I placed the space there, and that's 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 that, 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 that's that's great. Thanks, thanks, life. So I placed the space there, and I just kind of like swap the space around, which is bad. Okay, let's get back into the game quickly. Single player, new world. All of this just over names. Okay, there we are. <laughs> okay, and if we just take out for now. Two, three, four, five. You see that everything has similar properties to the actual stone classes. So if we look at this, to Tori Pickaxe, plus three, plus three, plus four, plus four, and the hoe, obviously we can't really compare. Just the Tori Um, uh, The space, plus two. Their spade is plus two. And our sword is plus five. Their sword is plus five. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so you see that um, if we actually go into single player, game mode, one, when I say single player, I meant uh, survival. Let's go into peaceful mode, which we already are. Okay, so we can actually dig. Um, we can go find some stone, which we should have done, but we'll demonstrate the, the axe first. It's quite efficient, quite wood. Already. Okay, you see we've got our hoe which we can actually right click on the ground. Oh the ground. We can block with the sword. Like so. Sword's efficient at killing the dunny chicken. But I guess them now. Um let me go back into game mode one. Grab some stone and some animals. Like some zombies. Spiders actually. Let me grab some stone. So stone. Game mode S. It's quite it's quite efficient uh, mining uh, stone. It would also be able to uh, mine coal, but I'm not going to demonstrate that because we want to get on to making our custom tool material. Just turns it easy. Push down the spiders. That's enough, okay. And you see, we're actually quite efficient about the spiders. And one more. You seem to be bothered about us, and you're still friendly. No survivors left. And you're still not bothered, are you? Wow. Now you're about to go. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And I guess we're gonna go create our um, normal material now. So, our, our custom material now, sorry. So, what you need to do is you need to go into your item class. We don't need to have anything to do with these classes we just made. And what we need to do is we need to go public, static, tool. Material, uh, tut material is going to be equal to new, not new, so it's going to be equal to enum helper dot add tool material. The name we'll call it tutorial tool material. Right, the harvest level, all these things, okay, you're going to want to know about them. So you see inside of the item tool material class, um, we have things, these things here. 
So the harvest level is basically like what I can mine. Okay, so like coal um, has a harvest level of one. Okay, so it, that's why it can't be mined by wood because wood has a mining level of zero. Okay, at the harvest level of zero. Sorry, but coal requires a harvest level of one at least. Um, that's why gold can't mine coal uh, any sort of ores either. Okay, and so we can set this at, as an integer. So the harvest level sets out the set to diamonds for the sake of it. Max amount of uses. Okay, clues in the name. That's the amount of blocks this uh, this um, pickaxe can break. Uh, this uh, this tool can break. Sorry. So we can set this to I don't know, two hundred. So it's gonna be diamond, but it's a very weak piece of that. <sighs> okay. So and then we've got a harvest level much uses. Uh, what's the next one? Efficiency. Um, it doesn't explain efficiency as far as I'm aware. But efficiency is things like um, like, like how fast it can mine the block, basically. So the better the efficiency, the um, the uh, better efficiency the better it's going to be able to mine. So, see, oh, it says here actually, the strength of the tool against blocks which it might, which it's effective against. So that means like, like with a pickaxe, that means like things like ores and stone. Uh, and that's would be wood and things like that. Okay, so just stuff, basic things like that. And this is set as a float. And you see that diamond has one of eight, so we'll set this out now. We'll set this to 15.0F just to show the sheer amount of the sheer speed you can get with it and just to prove this is a custom material and nothing else. Okay. The next one is damage, okay? Damage is the amount of, um, right, let's just say, it's just basically the amount of damage you can do to an entity. So, um, so I think, as far as my wife, I think this is multiplied for things like swords, but, uh, I'm not too sure. But the damage will just set to, uh, three, uh, 4.0F. So that should be two hearts with something that's not meant to be used that way, I don't know. And the enchantability, that's not really ever been explained. Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, so this is just the amount, uh, the, um, well, I'm not too sure actually, I've never really understood it myself. Personally, but it's just the natural enchantability factor of the material, like it says here, but I've never really understood what that means. Okay, so we'll just set this to 10, because that's what I've always used, and it always seems to work out fine. And that is your custom tool material. All we need to do then is change this first parameter. Here, from tool material stone to touch material. Like so, and um, we're just gonna copy and paste that all over the place. So there. Okay. There. There and there. Save it. And that is it. That is your custom tools out with your custom tool material. So if you actually run the game now, you'll see that it'll have similar properties to diamond. Apart from it won't be as strong, nor will it, and um, not, it won't be, it, it won't be as, when I say it won't be as strong, I mean like it won't be able to do as much, it, uh, have as many uses is what I meant to say, game mode 1. So what we'll do, we'll get a bunch of this, we'll keep these spider eggs, we'll also grab some diamond tools. So we get the pickaxe. We'll just demonstrate the pickaxe and the axe. Because we don't have enough room in the inventory for the rest of the stuff. The pickaxe, the axe and the sword. Okay, if we set this. Touch time. Set. Date. Okay, and well, that's it, okay. So let's go into our uh, game mode zero. And... Now we shall demonstrate. Okay, so look how fast this mines it. Mines it really, really, really fast. But look how fast diamond mines it. It's not as fast. But if you switch this, it's faster. Same when it comes to chopping trees. Really, really fast. This, a little bit slower. Um, and that's it. Now we shall go and spawn. We'll spawn that many. Uh, we'll kill this lot with this one. We'll see how fast we can kill them. This is two hits. Only two hits. Okay. Let's kill this one. Okay, now if we actually spawn the other spiders. That's four. Diamond is not as effective. 
Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't know, you can't really see the difference here, but you can see it in the code where it says plus 7, this is plus 8. So I guess it, you'll see the difference more in a player, because it will... Um, no, you won't see the difference more in a player. If it's the damage attack with 9, then you'll see it, because, yeah. But anyways, uh, that's it guys, thanks for watching, it's been the Goji Project on, and I guess I'll, get, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, or whatever I'm making. Oh, it could be Titanfall! If that's if some people like it, that is. Not many people like it. But, um, like, little like me playing, everyone loves Titanfall. You must love Titanfall. But anyway, yeah, this has been the Gross Project 01, and I guess I'll see you guys in another episode of whatever I make. Bye!